Finally tonight here, our Persons of the Week. The Great American Eclipse is now just three days away. Millions of Americans descending on small towns and national parks across this country to see it. And tonight, two young sisters and their invention that even NASA will rely on. We've chosen them as our Persons of the Week. Kimberly and Rebecca Young from Seattle, Washington, in their garage two years ago, beginning to build their own mini lightweight spacecraft. Our goal was to build a spacecraft and launch it into space. Or at least as close to space as we could get. It was trial and error, even styrofoam balls in case of a water landing. And then the day arrived. There's Dad, Winston. Three, two, one. It was really cool to see how the Earth looked from up there. It makes us think about how small we are. Our spacecraft got up to 78,000 feet. That's two and a half times the height of Mount Everest. Their lightweight spacecraft flying high, and that's a picture of their cat, Loki. At the time, the White House was so impressed, they got an invite from President Obama. What was that like when your dad got the call? Could your family believe it? And, and what did you tell the president when you got there? <laughs> When Dad got the call, it was the day before April Fool's Day, and the call was something like, Hi, it's the White House speaking, and Dad said something like, April Fool's Day is tomorrow. <laughs> they went to the White House and showed off their invention, and this week they'll be in Glendale, Wyoming, in the path of totality, ready to launch again, and their data they're going to share with NASA. What do they want to be when they grow up? I want to be a robotic engineer. Her older sister, not sure yet, but she does have advice for other kids, other girls their age. Don't give up because even if some people tell you you can't do this or it's going to be too hard, just keep on going and persevere. And even if something goes wrong, which will happen, keep on trying. And so we choose Kimberly and Rebecca Young in the Great American Eclipse is Monday. Our coverage begins at 1 p.m. Eastern. And Rob Marciano and I and the whole team will be out there live. So, Rob, everyone wants to know tonight, how's it looking as far as cloud cover? Well, coast to coast, clear skies would be ideal, but as you know, that's not going to happen. Take a look at this graphic. The, the brightest white line, that's the path of totality. And basically, east of the Rockies, you start to get in some moisture. So Lincoln, Jefferson City, just fair. And Charleston may have the most amount of cloud cover. That's in the red zone. I know that's where you're anchoring from, David. We have all weekend to try to improve on that forecast. I'm going to work fun. on it. I'm going to clear things up by Monday, Rob. Can't wait to see you. <laughs> 1 p.m. Eastern. On Monday, set your DVRs at home if you can't watch it with us live. I'm David Muir. Thanks for watching here this week. And as I mentioned, the Great American Eclipse, Monday at 1. Good night. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.